Hello, it's Lauren Lee and I'm coming to you today with a new series. It's called Idea of the Day and my intention is to um, provide you all with um, a random thought or tip or um, lesson um, that might um, give you inspiration or um, in aggregate over time uh, kind of give you strategic perspective on um, whatever problems or challenges you might be facing. So um, the idea today is about folding. And I like to use the word folding rather than quitting or failing. Folding has the connotation of um, a poker game, right? It, it means um, that this current round you're done with and you're not going to keep investing um, any more time or money into this particular round in the poker game because you might have a better hand for the next round. You wanna save your resources so that they'll be available to you when you have a better hand. So folding, um, when you look at it from that perspective is a, a rational course of action that is accounting for or factoring in future value, um, future fulfillment of your interests um, in the economic sense. Uh, your interests are um, you know, what motivates you, what you want, where you're trying to go in your life. Um, all those are, are collectively your interests. And um, a lot of times we are totally irrational um, when we are making decisions and we only account for or factor in our present value of a given situation or a given hand in a poker game. And if you're looking at a set of cards that is your hand and you forget that this is just one round in the game and you start thinking that like this is the game and that you have to make this hand work. You have to invest whatever you can to make this hand work. Um, then you're gonna make bad decisions. So it's really important to, to sit down and really be um, objective about our, the choices that we're faced with um, so that we can take the time to incorporate future value. Um, yeah. So that's folding. Um, one of these days I'll share the story of when I folded my startup. Um, it was a hard decision and it was kind of a messy process. Um, I probably could have, I, I would do it differently or I would do better um, if I had the opportunity. Uh, but it is what it is and I have zero regrets. Um, and I, at the time, I remember asking myself, what would 80 year old me do in this situation? Or what would 10 year old me do in this situation? And both of them said, honey, you gotta fold. This is a shit hand. There's no, no cashing in this round. And so, say okay, it's time to fold. So remember that next time you're facing a decision 
and good luck. Ciao, ciao.